Hi, well in this film I'm going to be setting grommets or eyelets and I've got a grommet setting tool here on use <laughs> in its wrapping so thought well I'll have a go see how it goes and let's see how good this is or not. This set is made by Osborne Tools so it's quite a nice quality set. It is only their sort of set it yourself home duty version and it's about 35 UK pounds. They do a more sort of um, professional version in this half inch size for about £140 but that's got a hardened um, tool here, die setting tool, hardened anvil, a higher quality punch than this DIY version. But the reason I've gone for this actually is because well A it's not too much money which is quite a factor and B I have actually got one of these rivet presses which I find great for the rivets and I have got some grommet heads for it, but I haven't found them for the, in a half inch size to be very good at all. So, and looking on the internet, other people have had trouble with them. So I thought, right, try this set. If it works well, I may actually machine up on my lathe some larger dies, but for the price, 35, I didn't think that's bad. It looks quite nice quality and the Osborne stuff is normally pretty good. So let's see how it goes. You can obviously use these grommets, as I say here, for tents, awnings, Patio furniture, pool covers, boat covers, and canvas bags. Well, there's the hint for what I'm using it for. I'm going to be using mine on leather bags. In fact, the form of duffel bag I'm just prototyping here. So I'll be wanting a few grommets on that. So let's see how it goes. Bit of an unboxing. So those are the grommets with the little backing pieces. They look quite nice grommets these actually because they're a fair bit taller which is ideal for leather work compared to the cheap grommets. They're also made out of brass as well so that's a cheapo tin plate grommet. I've got these in military black just felt it's fairly neutral and they are substantially higher in height. So that's the Osborne grommet, which is quite a nice height on that, we're going through several thicknesses. So that's the base and that's the striking tool. One goes in the other. Quite nice machine quality on this. I think it is only in standard steel, I don't think it's hardened in any way. But it, it looks quite nice, quite nicely made. You can buy sort of cheap and ported versions of these, I wasn't certain about that. And then that's the wooden block, I'll use a nylon block. And that's the cheap hole punch. I'll try this hole punch to start with. I do have my own hole punches. So for the larger ones, larger holes, I use these little things, the prior type punches. Those, I think the half inch, that's a prior half inch. But anyway, let's let's stick with the Osborne stuff and see how it goes. So just to test this out, I've got a couple of pieces of fairly thin leather here, which I'll pretend I want to join. So I'll use the little hole cutter. I mean, that's just a basic bit of tube with a sharpened edge. It looks okay quality, it's not brilliant. Looks all right. And actually it cuts perfectly adequately. And I think the idea is you then take the metal base, you put one of the grommets, you can get these grommets in silver, gold or in the black sort of military style. Put the lever over and just push it down. I hope this works. <laughs> and then put the little top washer in, rounded side up. That's what the instructions said when I read them. So that all looks like it's sitting okay. And then I take the die tool and strike it a few times. That's the theory. So make sure it's upright. So that's a little hit. Oh yes, I can see that's beginning to flare out. So that seems to be making sense. You could do quite thick leather with this, just looking at that. So there's quite a lot of lip on these. So I'll keep going. There's a few 
few more good hits. There you are. That does look quite easy. I'm quite impressed with that actually because it's a nice round, let me bring it into camera a bit more, that's a nice round finish on that eyelet. These eyelets are quite expensive but they are solid brass and there's a lovely smooth finish inside. So I mean, that's the first time I have used this and I've managed it. So if you were wanting to do a tarpaulin, boat cover, leather work, I think that's quite a good little setup. It's obviously, it is more of a home duty one, this one. It's not going to take a lot of punishment, I guess. But for a few grommets, not bad at all. Now it does pose the question, do the cheap imported grommets work with this setup? I'll have a quick go. So this is one of the cheaper quality imported grommets, which aren't such nice metal. So let's just see if they work in this same press. It's a gentle hit. It is rounding, but a cheaper one, it's splitting nastily. So I'm just gonna do one more grommet, putting the big grommet in, placing it on the little mandrel block, put the top over, curve side out, put the die in, make sure it's seated and give it a knock. You can feel that go immediately, it um, just curves over very quickly, keeping that upright, so I think that's part of the key, and then knock it down. And yeah, that is a very nice finish grommet. It feels really secure and it sits very well. It's smooth inside. So I must say I'm quite impressed by this tool all in all. It's fairly cheap for what it is and it's very nice quality grommets. These grommets are quite a lot more expensive than the imported grommets but I think they're well worth the extra money. It gives you a far better quality product and Frankly, I wouldn't want to use the cheaper ones on a bag because they'll probably tarnish and rust. These are solid brass, so you know if you make a product with these, you won't have a customer being unhappy two or three years down the line when it starts to rust, which is important. So, yeah, um, I feel like I'm endorsing a product here, which I probably am, but I think that's good. Obviously, I haven't used it much. It's early days, but my overall first impressions are very favourable. So anyway, hope that's, if you've got a sort of eyeliting job, grommet job in mind, I hope that's giving you a little insight, and of course they come in all sorts of sizes, about the Osborne grommet tool. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Bye!